Hey gang, welcome to another episode of As the Beer Swirls. We are FLX Beer Reviews. Yeah. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Jolly DK. What are we drinking? So, we have a, a wonderful beer from the KCBC Ooh. Brewing Company. Kings County Brewers Collective. If you How come you think... They didn't want to print all of that in big letters on here, seeing as they put every other letter of the alphabet in its entirety on here. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, this is Indiana Bones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Bowl IPA. Oh, it's like a, a Back to the Future reference. It's yeah, cool. totally. totally. Right. Cool. <laughs> Apparently, um, this is a series, and they have one named after every Back to the Future movie. Oh, neat. Yeah. So one, two, and three. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what kind of beer is this? Uh, this is a IPA, oh. but maybe a double IPA. Seeing how it comes in, it's dry hopped. It, seven point two ABV, Mike. Damn want to tell him the hops, buddy? Uh, I don't know because I think you might want to tell him the hops. Oh, <sighs> just save the one for me. Okay. Uh, it looks like this is double dry hopped with Citra, Zappa, and. <sighs> Motoeka. Oh, and some tangerine zest. Wow. Ah, tangerine zest too. And apparently yeah. barley and wheat too. I didn't yeah. know you could put that uh, in here. This was canned on 6421. Out of all the companies, I got to say, KCBC. Oh, oh, yeah. They don't have around when it comes to canned on. I love that. You That's can read nice. that perfect. Yep. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give this a little, little swirls action while it's in the can still. Oh, might as well. Uh, so, for those of you that are going to leave angry comments Who would do down that? below, oh, because you know they're going to look. It's not. It's not Back to the Future, Dan. Come on, Mike. It, it's clearly an Indiana Jones reference. Holy shit! You're right. Yeah. She's color me embarrassing. Uh, almost. Like no, I don't listen to a lot of radio programs, so how was I? To I, know? I didn't mean to offend anyone. I'm sure our none of our subscribers sound like that, but you know. It is what it is. That is. That's foaming up already. I love it. All right. Get this pro proper glass right going. Is it proper? Yeah. It's an IPA. Okay. Oof. You know what I did? What's that? Nice. Swirl the bottom. I'm going to do that. In a oh, boy. See, I picked this wonderful glass that I'm pretty sure it's proper. Fits a whole bunch of lot in there. I think you can put uh, put IPAs in all sorts of glasses, but this yeah, this is a good looking beer. That is yeah. a thick, creamy head on it. It's bright orange. Yeah, it's I mean, candy well, orange, juicy. For me, it, it looks more of like a candied orange. I, I want to say bright. It's not dull, but it's not bright. bright. Uh, it might be my lights, but it looks it looks bright. Well, candy ish. It is kind of bright. The head is fluffy, thick. Oh man, I can smell it. Well, you're not. You're, why are you skipping? Don't skip I'm not. the process. The, the beer the made process. me do it. The process got us to where we are today. And don't freaking skip it, or else you're fired. In Indy freaking bullwhipped me into to doing it. All right. Uh, yeah. Look at that head. Uh, a little soap yeah. sudsy. Uh, Head's gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely. Man, your beer looks so much different than mine. It's, we have that problem, the lighting. It's, it is what it is. Are you sure? Yep. Can, can you swirl the can, maybe pour some more in there? After I get a whiff and a sip. Well, let's get a whiff then, because I can't wait for you to. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, boy. That is just candy hey, Mike. orange goodness. Mike. What? You know how every IPA, I'm like, I get a little tangerine. Yeah. Like tangerine. And oh this time gosh. I can prove it because it says tangerine zest. T that tangerine zest is it right here. Oh, that smells juicy and good. It's very sweet. Oh, but it's settling down. There's just a there's a hint of green on the back of it. Oh my goodness, that smells delicious. It does sound good. It does. It, it smells like a tropical. Yeah, tropical orange variety pack. It certainly does. It smells like oh, high C a little bit. 
It does. It really smells like I see, but tea. like yeah, yeah, there's like a little Kool Aid, a little something, something to it. Maybe a little uh, little tang. It's got tang on it. Oh yeah, there you go. First juice in space. All right, um, I'm ready to try this. <laughs> it smells good. So, cheers, buddy. There's that Motueka. It's got that much. I, yeah, all day. Damn. Tell me more about your uh, your love affair with Motueka. Well, we met a couple of years ago. I think it was love at first sight, love at mm. first sip, if you will. Mm. Uh, I remember sitting outside my my favorite Gypsy Juice Tavern, and uh, you know, it, it was so different from the rest of them. It just kind of stood out. Mm. And you know, she's been whispering in my ear ever since, and I, I, I can't leave her. I just can't do it. No, she whispers, Mike. She whispers sweet songs of lemon, lime, grassiness. Just a little sprite funk, if you will, folks. If that's not making you want to drink this beer, mm. nothing will. Not the. Not the Back to the Future or yeah. whatever it is imagery on here. Not text. <laughs> nothing, All right. Not uh, the great canned on thing. So I, I'm getting that Citra. I'm getting the Tangerine. I'm getting a little bit of Funky Funk. Mm -hmm. Piney. Not Pine. Uh, it's, just, it, uh, it's a, it's a little dank. Effect. Yeah. But that Motoika is really shining out for me. Like, do you get that grassiness? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I got the green on the nose. Yeah, but um, there's that, that, to me, you get a little lemon-lime thing to it. Yeah, and I think it's it's just kind of playing second fiddle to that that tangerine zest, and it works really well. It's yeah. a, a very interesting uh, dance they're doing on my tongue. This one, this, it's slightly carbonated. Um medium maybe a lower side of medium touch, body yeah touch on your medium super hazy um still still kind of creamy though uh your finish you're kind of getting the the little tingle on the back of the throat bitterness mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. sticks around lingers the juice kind of lingers a little bit after you've eaten the oranges and it's still like you're done with your lunch you've washed your hands but you're back at the the computer at back at your desk after lunch and you still got that orange you know residual whatever mm -hmm. you're yeah that's what you're getting uh yeah, yeah this uh this beer finish is great um it's balanced it tastes wonderful um you're getting a, a really nice amount of uh the citrus and the bitter aspect with the green i uh, it's refreshing. This and is also, why, uh, dude. This is why this beer is on a on a list. Is that right? It is. It's on a list of uh, this guy named Ridge Rajopoulos. Mm -hmm. uh, Does he make lists? He makes lists. He mm, likes okay. lists. Okay. I think like he sleeps with the list. I think he goes home and he's got a list under his pillow, and one day he's hoping the list fairy just came and picked it up and. And notarized it. Well, if this is on his list of beers to have, uh, he should definitely check it out. Um, because this is a very delicious, drinkable beer. No, it is. I, I enjoy it. It's one of the better KCBC beers I've had in quite a while. Uh, okay. let's give it a rating. Absolutely. Well, I'm gonna yeah. check out the. I'll tell you what. You give the rating. I'm gonna check out the sweet, like art and stuff. Can art's killer. Yeah. I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'm gonna give it a solid four. I think I think this is a really good beer. Okay, uh, I'll give it a four point two five. Okay, because you know I'm not stingy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah if you can get KCBC, enough, buddy. We dragged it. Yeah, if you can get KCBC in your area and you have this this option to pick up, check it out. It's a good beer. If you like Motueka as much as I do, 
You can't stop like Motoeka as much as you, you do. Yeah, you need to stop liking Motoeka because she can't cheat on me any longer. Mm. Uh, this is true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything down in the description, Dan? <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there's some links for some untapped and Twitters and Instagrams. We love right. IG, baby. We're on IG all oh, yeah. day. Even if you slap that notification bell, you'll get all of our IG posts. And, uh, yeah, I got nothing, buddy. We're going to just go. We're going to go finish this beer. This is delicious. So, yeah, Cheers, thanks for guys. watching, everybody. Cheers.